Hi, so in this video, I'm going to talk about the use of machine learning in quant finance. Now, machine learning uh, is quite popular nowadays, uh, and it's important that if you if you want to become a quant, it's important that you learn machine learning. But how much machine learning is used in quant finance? That's something I'm going to discuss in this video. Um, but before that, you know, just uh, an introduction about what is quant finance. Uh, so quant finance is about uh, you know use of mathematical modeling in the field of finance, right? So whether it's in trading or lending or long-term investment or for insurance, you know, if you're using mathematical modeling uh, that comes under the quantitative finance, right? It's also known as computational finance, financial engineering. Uh, it's it's not recent actually it dates back to you know 1970s 80s even before that but the popularity actually gained when you know the derivative products were uh, introduced and they became more popular uh, especially in 1970s and 80s when st they started trading in the market that's when quantity finance actually got you know became very popular and the popularity has only um, grown over time um, the modeling techniques that used to be used back then, things have changed a lot. Um, but modeling techniques, mathematical modeling technique as such is quite broad, right? It includes statistical modeling, mathematical modeling, doing simulations, you know, using machine learning, AI, but also using uh, econometrics and eco you know, concepts from economics like game theory and all. Uh, so, you know, it's a very broad field, right? You have all kinds of flexibility as to what technique you can use. Uh, and machine learning is one of them. Uh, so we'll see as to which field is more popular in quant finance. Statistics is quite popular, actually. You know, by far the most popular academic area in the field of finance is statistics. Uh, well, many people would think that, okay, uh, it, it's machine learning, not statistics. But unlike in other fields, statistics is still quite uh, popular in the field of quant finance. And machine learning and statistics, there is a lot of overlap. You know, for example, regression techniques, you can find in both fields uh, but machine learning is also different in many ways for example you do not have tree-based modeling in in uh, statistics whereas uh, tree-based modeling is quite popular in machine learning you know in, in studies also similar modeling technique are there for example the non-parametric modeling technique uh, but you know machine learning is a lot more than just uh, the non-parametric modeling technique you have in statistics so um, um, yeah, so machine learning in that way is different. Also, the way you build machine learning model uh, in many ways is quite different from statistics, especially, you know, doing cross validation uh, and uh, doing feature engineering and, and, and selecting best set of features out of, you know, too many features. A lot of these techniques are very unique to machine learning compared to that of uh, statistics. But for a variety of reasons, statistics is still quite popular in the field of quantitative finance. And we'll discuss as to why that is the case. Okay. Um, right. So question is whether machine learning is at all used in finance or not. Yes, it is used. In fact, it's, uh, its popularity is, is, is growing over time but not so much compared to you know other fields for example in the field of uh, e-commerce and all it's it's quite heavily used uh, the initial days of machine learning uh, people were really excited to use that in finance but the success was very limited and very low and hence the popularity did not sustain and uh, you know so that's uh, for a variety of reasons we'll discuss actually why that's the case um, right so initial success was less simply because there was not much of data uh, and computational power also was less. Computational power, uh, compute power was much less back then, I think, you know, a couple of decades back. But things have changed, right? You have huge computational power, uh, improvement in the hardware, uh, but also, you know, the, the amount of data that you have nowadays is a lot more compared to what it was, you know, you know back then in 1980s and, and 70s and in those days. Um, so we see a huge success in the field of e-commerce and other fields of machine learning, but it, it's still not a huge success in the field of finance, although there are many use cases where, you know, machine learning is being used in finance. Um, so we'll see, you know, the different fields of quant, in quant finance and where machine learning is popular, why it's not popular, right? In the field of quant trading, right, using mathematical modeling for trading purposes, machine learning is still not very popular, uh, something that you will not expect, uh, but that is actually true. In fact, 
uh, if you talk to the quant trader, they will say that the machine learning that they use is probably very simple machine learning, right? And it's even difficult to categorize whether it's, it's more statistical or machine learning sort of algorithm, right? You know, most quant traders stay away from, you know, high uh, the more complex machine learning models for a variety of reasons. But one main reason is because, you know, you really need to understand how it works actually, right? ML models are a bit black box, right? And um, um, trading, uh, or for that matter, anything related to finance, uh, the stakes are very high, right? The stakes, high stakes, right? You can't afford to lose money. Uh, so you really need to understand the algorithm very well, how it works. Sometimes, you know, uh, the, the you know, especially with the hyperparameters about the tuning, you know, you do can be very subjective, right? And you know, the more subjectivity is there, more chances of making mistakes and all that. Hence, people, you know, uh, sort of uh, avoid machine complex machine learning models, although simple models are used, but uh, not so much the more complex models, right? In high frequency trading, right, it's it's also um, less popular, actually, it's less popular, not very popular, less popular, simply because the computational time is high. And in high frequency trading, you need something to be very, very quick, right? It has to happen uh, in, in a fraction of seconds. So you really need to then uh, use uh, models that are fast and ml models are not very fast especially the tree based models right you build a random forest with you know thousand trees or ten thousand trees it will take a couple of seconds to run right so that's something uh, hft firms cannot afford um but many firms are trying a lot actually right uh, to sort of you know have that competitive advantage and you know, firms which are quite big, actually, like Renesha Technology, you know, those firms, they, they're trying a lot. But, you know, I think if you know, if you've ever heard of, uh, from Jim Simon, right, who is the, perhaps the, you know, the most popular quant ever, uh, he has said that although, you know, his team uses machine learning, the more emphasis on is on collecting data. So it's about collecting good quality data. Modeling techniques are secondary, right, you, you know, if you do not have good data, no fancy technique will will do a great job. So, um, technique has such so the complex ML techniques are not very popular. In the long term investing area, actually, uh, statistic is still quite popular, right? Uh, most of the researcher in the in quant investment side are actually you know the PhD in finance, PhD in economics that kind of background, right? So they heavily use uh, statistics and econometrics, econometrics or financial econometrics, uh, you know, techniques such as uh, ARIMA or ARCH guards for variance forecasting, and sometimes linear regression, error correction model, ECM model, okay? But not so much, for example, random forest or SBM, uh, you know, not so much of that. Uh, although, you know, I've heard that uh, reinforcement learning, which is type of machine learning, is now gaining popularity, uh, right? Clustering and PCA algorithms are also now explored to, you know, to do uh, feature engineering, you know, to, to, you know, get new features, to get better features. So there you see some uses. Um, and, and, and there are some theoretical stuff, like people are exploring that. But when it comes to the application, real-world uses, uh, I think people are still a bit scared about using more complex uh, machine learning algorithms. Um, the more traditional statistical models which have been in use in the field of finance for decades is still quite popular. And if you want to work in quant, then you really need to understand statistical models, like financial econometrics in particular. Right? Without that, you won't be able to you know, clear quant interviews, no matter how much machine learning you know. Right? Um, then in the field of quant risk management, right? this is an area where most of the quants actually work, right? In fact, in my view, I think, you know, probably nine out of 10 quants work in quant risk management. Um, right, it, it, it's it's not the most lucrative quant area um, quant, uh, compared to quant trading and investment area, but, you know, most of the quants work in quant risk management for big funds or, you know, big banks NBFCs, you know, insurance companies, reinsurance companies, all kinds of, you know, finance firms. Um, in a regulatory area, right, if an area is regulated by some regulator, 
um machine learning is not popular at all um right especially for building capital models uh for you know credit risk model development you know you will not use much of machine learning although some people are using for you know benchmarking purposes right but not the final model right so it's just because regulators think that you know ml is a bit black box you know it can be debated as to whether ml is purely black box but yes understanding the in you know how inputs are converted to output by the ml model is a bit more complex compared to the regression based model and hence they are not very popular and regulators you know don't like machine learning models being used in regulatory areas such as in capital model development and all that uh, however there are some use cases where you know machine learning being used especially in the us uh, us banks are using but not so much the european banks in the compliance area especially in the kyc area right there's so much of use of machine learning and ai in fact this is one area where machine learning and use ai being used quite heavily nowadays uh, especially you know in in fraud detection in anti money laundering transaction monitoring so if you work for mastercard mastercard or visa these kind of companies uh, or you work for just global banks even fintechs right they use a lot of machine learning technique in order to detect automatically detect uh, fraudulent transaction uh, money laundering uh, so cases um, right so there you see a lot of uses uh, right so what advice i would like to give if you want to make a career in quant finance uh, and how much machine learning you must learn i would say that uh, you must learn actually machine learning ai um some quant finance programs right if you do a quant finance you know master's degree uh, they do not teach anything about machine learning but nowadays because of the popularity of machine learning is very important to learn machine learning um right uh, but but at the same time do not believe that only machine learning will get you a good job in quant finance right you need to learn more than just machine learning you need to learn financial econometrics financial econometrics uh you need to know uh asset pricing you need to know risk management you need to know the products uh, you know financial products and financial markets you need to know simulations you need to learn risk modeling market risk modeling credit modeling all those things you need to learn so you need to learn beyond just ml and ai right and just learn up real world applications not just the theory stuff because the real world applications in finance could be different from other industries so you know ensure that you have some idea about real world applications in the field of finance right i do have a course on quant finance uh, and risk modeling uh, which covers a uh, lot of things including machine learning uh, but also other topics such as financial econometrics risk modeling you know market risk modeling credit risk modeling asset pricing derivative pricing uh, quantitative uh, trading as well risk management corporate finance uh, you know all those things so if you want to so if you want to learn you know please contact me i will be happy to help